Guys, this is this is an opening for you, Mason. An opening in a tale of wonder. And that wonder is freedom. We're just going to talk as I die ferociously and viciously. Ferociously, viciously. Now think. So listen, we're going to talk about what you like and what you dislike. People, food, movies, tacos, cars, seats, phones, games, puppies. <laughs> why, am I not, why am I in a room of mutes? I'm the teacher in this Saturday detention and he's going to sit in my class and we're going to fucking talk. Guys, it's Saturday. Kinda. So listen. I have a coworker here that's sometimes kind of a coworker. Listen, he talks, kinda. And, um, okay, so I, I passed a couple of bosses and I forgot about this shit. Um, so we're, you know what, we're gonna go back. So listen. I have a coworker individual who's kind of talkative, but not really. So if you think that you hear him talking, you're lying to yourself. But, so here, here's your problem, though. If I could speak that language, I would whisper profanities to your butthole. Okay. Sorry, not ticklish. He's not ticklish at all. Oh, shit, I forgot that there were enemies in this game. Okay. So let me, let me, let's, let's, alright. So we gotta, we gotta break it down. I know there's a block button. Fuck. What's the block button again? Oh. I lied. No block button. <laughs> Alright. So. Uh. Clinginess. Do you like clinginess or nah? Like, like. Like, do you like people that are always like, hey, what are you doing? How's it going? I guess. Well, not like, like, what am, like, like, do you like your space? Uh, can't go that way. I don't know how to cut grass. So, like, space. Do you like space or do you like, oh, well, Jesus per, fucking per, grass. Pertaining to what? Like, I don't know, just in general. Because, like, some people, they, they like their space about personal stuff. And then, like, other things, they're like, you can ask me about my underwear size and I'm fine. Yeah. Let's t talk. That, that, that one. Talk to <laughs> that one. God damn it. So is that a yes? Sure. God damn you. Okay. 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 <laughs> I was gonna go to Fallout questions. No, I don't like Fallout. I know. I, I, yeah, but I'm saying like I was gonna go to Fallout questions like. You get three tacos. Your friend only sends one taco to you. What's a little girl next to you gonna die with? <laughs> like, obviously not a taco. I'm gonna eat that bitch for myself. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. You know what? We're we're just gonna. I know. It seems forced a little bit, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just talk about stuff. So like, oh shit! I forgot I have health potions, and I've just been spamming the health button, the uh, health potion button. I'm doing great. So how was work? Why the was, fuck? I was there. Oh god damn it! I just ran so. I have a question. So listen, listen. Let me let me let me talk to you real quick. What is something that you hate in games? You wanna know what it is for me? Hmm. I have a sword that can cut fucking alien types of metal. Yeah can't fucking cut grass like maybe it's not alien grass you ever think about that i don't like the way you think it's probably just like normal ass grass like <laughs> maybe you only um, cut special shit i don't remember just being here an explosive death awaits my foot why are their faces and what the fuck is wrong with this game that looked disgusting Okay. Um. 
do you like gore or do you is it just like yeah like like okay so if i like if i'm like bro let's go play a game yeah and it's like oh jesus fuck so like say let's let's say like we're playing a game Mm -hmm. what if it was like how about it do you like until dawn never played it i thought you said you did my brother did Oh, yeah. He has a he has a brother. They all live in Columbus. Are you getting older, or you got to get older? Are you the baby? I mean, I only have one other brother, so yeah. I think they're from uh, stepdad's side, probably. Uh, yeah, I have younger brothers that are from my. Uh... No, my brothers were all from the same. Marriage. Yes. Yeah. My two other brothers. Uh... My stepmom takes care of them. And I don't really see her. I don't. <laughs> Why? So you can be fair. Uh-huh. So this game tends to go from uh, perfectly fine to everything is going wrong. God help. Sounds about right. Like. Okay. So. So Gore, don't really give a fuck. Until Dawn. Did you. Did you like Until Dawn? Well, I know you didn't play it, but like. Like, from what I saw, did I yeah. like it? Like, are, are you a choose your type of. Like, choose your own adventure type Not of person? Not really. Or? So, what you're telling me. Well, I mean, it depends on. What, what you mean. Because, like, technically, any game is choose your own adventure. I guess, but whenever I say choose your own adventure, I'm I, saying, I know, like, I know your, what you mean. I'm just your being choices, complicated. Like, <laughs> at least you know you're being complicated. Yeah. Because there are people like Glenn that'll be like, I'm not being complicated, you're being complicated. And I'm like, boy. Oh, shut your complicated ass up. <laughs> but yeah, like, whenever I say choose your own adventure, I mean, like, your choices change or... They have an effect on what yeah, the story is. Ha- have an effect on everything. I mean, versus, like, so for example, if we play Fable, choices have an effect on the story. But, but if the, we the, play... There's a difference between that and Until Dawn. Fable, more RPG, Until Dawn's an interactive movie sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So interactive movies, not really. Okay. I can see it. I just like to ask because there's some people, so, like, whenever me and Cameron play something, um, I've noticed something. I'm just... I found a move and I like it. <laughs> uh, we could not. What is that? Uh, okay. So like, whenever me and Cameron play a movie, play mm-hmm. a movie. Um, yeah. I whenever know. we play a a game or like something like that, what we do is we leave it to chance. Would you do that? Like, you play the entire game. Not a choice is made by you. It's all made by, like, you took, like, a dice and you rolled it. Yeah. Some fun shit. We should do that. Uh, we're currently playing through Tales from the Borderlands. But right now we're doing the entire Tales series. Yeah, um, yeah I don't really like the, uh... Oh my god, what's it called? Telltale Games. Okay. Just because it bores you? Yeah, essentially. I feel it. Not for everyone, obviously. Like, yeah. it's, it's stuff that... It's stuff that is definitely, like, you need to... Uh, Sorry, I'm just so fucking confused. Um, It's definitely, like, one of those things where, like, Telltale games are kind of specific for people. Because it's not going to be for everyone, obviously. Yeah. Not everyone is going to enjoy not really, like, their skill not mattering in a game. And I say that just because, like, you can play through Telltale with one hand. Um, but... I mean, depending on the situation, that can be nice, though. It could be. But at the same time, it's one of those things where if... Some people just really like the fact that they're, like, their skill, like, oh, I didn't die, so I got the special ending. Yeah. But... I think me and Cameron, like... I don't know. I it's don't the type of thing think... where I won't mind watching it being played, but playing it myself, I won't. You just get bored? Yep. Essentially. So you don't mind the story? No. 
I just don't want to play it. Is it because you don't like the, like the series that it's part of? Nope. Or no particular reason. I just don't like gameplay is just lame. In okay. my opinion, I like that's it. See, it depends on the series for me. So like, I can play through a Batman thing just because I actually like Batman. So as a result, well, I like Batman in some instances. Yeah. Um. Oh, damn it, it lagged. Now I'm starting to make progress. Whatever. We're just gonna go. Okay. So, besides Telltale, let's, let's, let's run through some, some things. Yeah. Uh, fighting games. 2D? 2D. Well, 2D with the exception of Soul Calibur. Okay. I can handle that. That's fine, I guess. Uh, 3D? Obviously, Soul Calibur is 3D, but, like, yeah. any other 3D? You talking, like, Tekken and shit? Yeah. Tekken, um... What else is there? Tekken? Holy fuck! This is what I mean. Like, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly fine, 80,000 things swarm you. Yeah. There we go. Um... It's so like Tekken, Dead or Alive, things like that. Not yeah, or yeah, not really a huge fan of them. Okay, so you stick to two D games for the most part, yeah. Uh, what about um, what about anime fighters or just basic fighters? So like yeah, either Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue, yeah, Guilty Gear. Yeah, only played the relatively newer ones though. So you've only played, uh, Exard? Yeah. Okay. Um, Fate Stay Night? I've looked into it, never played it, though. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. No. It's kind of depressing. What is? Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Yeah, yeah. I like Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Why does nobody else like Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Everybody it's thought like that the was party. ass from what I know. I mean, you're not wrong. But it's like the... It's it's like... It's so like bad you street, like it? Nah, it's like Street Fighter mixed with Smash Brothers. Like, the four-player like game mode was fun. Um, I mean, granted, I played a lot of Street Fighter compared to everyone else in our group, so it was kind of really easy Yeah. For for me to play versus them to play. But, like... I didn't think it was that bad. Why do you think it's so bad? Well, okay, what made it bad? I, I, I don't opinion? think it's bad. I've never played it. We're gonna change that. I mean, okay. Just from what I've seen, it doesn't look too great. I mean, oh, you're yet oh, again. I'm Jesus also not a good fuck. judge of fighting games because I don't play them too many, too much. Oh, really? I've um, always liked them, but I've never had people that liked them, too, so. As far as, like, groups go, so. Kind of same. Um, I play... I think the only fighting game that other people really enjoy is, like, Cameron likes Skullgirls. Um, I like Street Fighter Five. I try to get Glenn into Street Fighter Five. He's kind of iffy about it. He plays a lot of Street Fighter Four. Yeah. Um... Glenn's perfectly fine with Tekken, but, like, I've just never been a big Tekken fan. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the combat being sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? Slow? I am in there. Oh, yeah. Killer Instinct. Uh, oh, yeah. That's... <coughs> never played it, though. Really? Yep. It's free. I should, yeah, I went to download it, and then I saw it was going to take forever, so I dipped out of there. <laughs> you were like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Well, then also, you know, my computer isn't that good, so... I don't... I don't want to anticipate that I can't run it. Uh, 
Well, okay. So let's see. We have... So... Are there any fighting games coming out that you'll get? Do you... Wait, do you like tag or like single player games? So like... Do you like systems where you can make it like where like you can build a team? Like multiple people in a team or just a Yeah, singular? or do you like to just focus on one character? Either or. Either I'm asking because there's some people that specifically only enjoy it if they get to build like a team because then it kind of like fills that fantasy of like, oh, these characters got together in a group and yeah. like, you know, they, they kicked ass together and now Goku's fucking up Vegeta and Android 16 is having a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, personally, I like team things more just because it's like, oh yeah, I've got like team trench coat. Yeah, yeah. So like in Marvel vs. Capcom three, I uh, guilty. I played team trench coat. Mhm. Mm Virgil, Dante, Wesker. Didn't play them long. Eventually, I played team sword. Yeah. Oh my Jesus! It's just. This is this is getting stupid. I am about to have to dodge like oh my Jesus fucking Christ. We're we're gonna, we're gonna pause for a second. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Fucking did it. Fucking did it. I'm sorry, my butt clenched very tightly. Probably heard the squeak. That was from my anus. Now, back to what we were talking about. So you just don't really care. As long as it's a good fighter, you're fine. Yep. Pretty much. Okay. Do you like having a button to block or no? Like, so in Mortal Kombat, there's a button to block. Yeah. And in Justice 1, there was a button to block. See, I can't say I've played enough to where I know a preference, but I feel like, from what I have played, holding back feels better. Okay. See, I like holding back just because then... So, like, I, I feel like if I... If you're holding a button to block, like, jumping over has no effect then. Mm -hmm. Like, it literally... It has no strategic value, because then at that point, why jump over if the person can just hold right trigger? Yeah. Or the person can hold R2... And it's going to be blocked either way. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if they fall for the mix-up, because there is no mix-up. Simply because your character is going to block it. You yeah. just have to figure out whether or not you're standing or crouching. Mm -hmm. um, so at least there's that. Okay. So we're, uh, we're, we're getting places. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going places. <laughs> like, I'm... I broke a thing. I'm being hit by a laser. I can double jump now! Yes. I'll take ten. Okay. Um. Fuck did that do? Oh, it opens the door. Okay. Um. Any shooting games you play? First person a third let's go first person first and then let's let's move our way to third first person i don't really play anything first person other than overwatch and that is very rare that i play overwatch okay uh is it because just like motion sickness or is it just nope. because like it doesn't really draw you in because i know that some people really that... draw me in unless i have a decent group to play with that's fun to play with that explains why we don't play overwatch because i am definitely Decent. No, I don't mean decent as like skill level. I mean, uh, like, I was gonna say because I play a whole like. I mean, three decent people. company. Okay. Yeah, cause I that... could care less about skill level. Says the platinum league player. I'm not. What? Yeah. Well, he okay, was. I'm not. Plat. I'm not plat this season. Working on it. I'm working on it. I got like. Fuck, two weeks left? Yeah. I got this. We're getting there. 
Uh, the Valkyrie excavations? We're getting places. I didn't even know we was excavating. Okay. So, favorite series. What do you mean, like, video game series? Yes. It's a hard question to ask. I mean, I don't rate games of different genres higher than the others simply because it... Okay, let's go RPG. Favorite RPG? I'll take action RPG or just, like... Series or series. singular game? Series. I uh, Also, just for, for mm. speculation, I do not count things like Bayonetta and Devil May Cry as an RPG. I don't I either. consider them uh, part of the action series, or um, I consider them just action-adventure. Mm. Or I consider them adventure. But I'm just stating that because some people consider it an RPG because you do level up and you get items yeah. and things like that. So you talking turn based or just say, anything just in general? RPG in general. So Dark Soul series. I'll take Soul series as an RPG. Yeah, probably that. I can't really think of anything else. Tales of Final Fantasy. Yes. Um... Dung and Ropa to an extent? Mm, no. They I've never played one, they don't look fun to me. Dung and Ropa those? Yeah. That's why I Okay, I was gonna be like, me. none of those series none of those series appease you? Nothing appeases you, Mason? Nope. Okay. Um How do you feel about the Ninja Gaiden series? I tried playing one, kinda got bored. Dipped out. So what are the gameplay or story? I think that the moment when I was trying it out, I just kind of wasn't feeling like getting into something new. Okay. So I, if I gave it a try again, I'd probably like it, but I, at after I got off my Devil May Cry kick and a bunch of so I was kind of done with that sort of style. Okay. That's, I mean, it's understandable, just because Devil May Cry is kind of a different, I call it a different beast, others, they're very much so, like, well, Devil May Cry is a terrible game just because it doesn't have a good story, and I'm just like, well, fun fact, whenever I can kill demons and kill gods and not care. Yeah, don't worry, I figured that out. Ah, just, like... I'd say Devil May Cry is different than Ninja Gaiden. Like, Ninja Gaiden's no, yeah, story yeah, it's is... yeah, it's definitely different. I'd say Ninja Gaiden's story is a thing, but versus Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, like, it attempts to be a story. It just makes really bad puns along the way. And you're talking to me? Flock off Featherface? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, let's be real. Yeah. I'm being real. <laughs> Dante... Was he was a badass, but he wasn't cool. Which Dante are we talking about, or just Dante in general? Dante, not Dino. <laughs> you know immediately who I'm talking yeah. about when I say Dino. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Okay, so other thing for Dark Souls, have you played both one? Yes. Okay. Didn't didn't beat it. Played a lot of it, though. I. We kind of stopped it. My friend and I stopped in the middle of playing it and never went back to it. Bloodborne or Dark Souls? Bloodborne. Why? Got busy. Just never went... No, like, which which do you like more? Oh, uh... Souls suit. The actual Souls games, not Bloodborne. Okay, which more. game... If you had to put Dark Souls, including... Like a Did you play Demon Souls? Yes. Okay. Demon Souls through Dark Souls 3. Rating them? And then Bloodborne. What would you put where? Mm. Firstly, for me, Demon Souls is at the very bottom. And then at the very top, it's Dark Souls 3. And then I put Bloodborne right before Dark Souls 3, just because I actually enjoy the aggressive combat in Bloodborne. Yeah. And that kind of adapted the playstyle in Dark Souls 3. Mm. And then I do Dark Souls 2 because of the weapon and the power stances. Yeah. And then Dark Souls 1. Like, Dark Souls 1 was good, but I like the power stancing and the things that were added into. And then with 3, like, weapon arts kind of made everything very fun for me because of yeah. that. It's like the extra, I guess, adaptability for weapons. But I know a lot of people prefer 1 over 2 and 3. 
And there's also a lot of people that put Bloodborne over all three. I would do Demon Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3. Best to worst? Worst to best. Okay, so Dark Souls 3 is best in your head, yes. and then Demon Souls is worst. So your list that, was... And that's... When saying worst doesn't mean it... Not the worst game, but just the one that you didn't enjoy the most. Yes. Honestly, I tried to go back and play Demon Souls. Well, it, uh... It didn't... I couldn't do it. I played through it a few times. I've tried. It just... It, it's so clunky. Yeah. I don't... I was doing the, uh... Oh, gosh. I don't remember what it was called, but the tendencies of the worlds where you would get different events based on your tendency. Yeah. So if you died a lot, it was dark tendency, I think it was. And if you... I forget how you got it to light. I think you just killed bosses. Different events would happen based on what you did. Yeah, every time you killed an NPC or any time you died, it would cause more dark tendencies. And then yeah. any time you killed a boss, it would cause a light tendency. Yeah. Um, that's just something that was... I liked it, but I think my main problem with that is somebody that's really bad at the game or just enjoys playing the game but they're just bad at it wouldn't be able to they'd never be able to get the the good can yeah the, the good tendencies portion and i think that's oh like i think that's why i like playing dark souls because then it's like if if there's somebody bad playing the game I can help them out. Specifically, probably See, why I like playing Dark Souls 3 the most, just because co-op is an option, and it's not yeah. like I hope I can find my friend. Yeah. Well, like, I played through one a little bit with Glenn, but we used uh, Wolf Link, which is... Uh, it's a mod that allows you to basically... Kind of like set a password. Yeah. Like you do in Dark Souls yeah. 3. Well, my thing about the Soul series is that everyone's talking about how hard it is when I don't necessarily think they're hard. Because yeah. you just learn their patterns, and then it's easy. Yeah. So. I, I definitely agree. Like, it's just, honestly, a lot of pattern learning. Like, once you yeah. learn a pattern, you're fine. But it does take patience, which is something that people yeah. don't have anymore. Like, patience is not something easily attained in gaming nowadays, just simply because it's... I would say... So, like, personally, anytime a game gives me a movement option, I am in there. I am rolling for the rest of this game. Yeah. Jack and Daxter, they told me how to roll. Boy. All you ever did? Roll jump everywhere. Yeah. You know how much platforming I fucked up because I was roll jumping? <laughs> A lot. But I think that's probably why people are, are so iffy on stuff like Dark Souls. is because they... You have to sacrifice life or you have to sacrifice, like... Your progress. Basically, your progress anytime you die. And then... Also, you lose the ability to help yourself progress by yeah. dying. Yeah. And then that makes them more impatient, and then it just gets worse and worse for them. Yeah. But I mean... I mean, I can see why someone wouldn't like it. Yeah. I don't... It's kind of like one of those things where I personally don't like sports games. Yeah, same. But somebody that likes sports games is going to be like, sports games are the best thing ever. And then there's me that's just like, well, why don't you just go outside and play the sport? I don't know, I just... That's how I see it. Obviously, it's not how people that play I don't even see it. see it as, if you're gonna play it, you just go out and play it. I just see it as, they're boring. Yeah. Like, you're not doing too much in it. It's like... I don't know. My, as, my, like, my main thing is just, yo, if you're gonna play a sports game, why not just... Play the sport. Yeah. I mean, I don't, obviously, I don't think about a Call of Duty just because, like, Call of Duty is, like, a... I mean, I guess, either way, it's a vent for people. Because I'm sure sports are stressful. As somebody who's only played, like, basketball and soccer a little bit. Yeah. But... I just... I don't know. I don't see the... The draw to it. Like, in Dark Souls, I can be like, hell yeah, I'm a fucking knight. Yeah. And I'm in there, boy. Like, I'm gonna be a knight. That helps other knights and calls dudes sun bros. Yeah. How sick is that? And then there's... Well, and then there's other people that would say being... Like a, a, a professional sports player would be sick to them. Yeah. 
So. Which is why I'm like, I mean, like it's... Like a fantasy it's, sort of thing. Yeah, it's to each their own. Like, everybody has yeah. a thing. Like, I don't know. I just like the idea of knights, and I like the fantasy background. Yeah, and yeah. I like the medieval background. But, like, Cameron really likes just... I don't know, he, he, some games he plays for story, some games he plays for gameplay. Personally, for me, if it has a really good story and it has decent gameplay, like stuff that's responsive, mm. I'm down. The second it stops being responsive, I'm out. Yeah. Like, I would not be playing this game if, like, the dodge roll, the second I tapped the button, she dodge rolled. If there was a delay, no, probably wouldn't mm. do it. Okay. Just because it... I like responsiveness in games. Like, it's just... The responsiveness is what kind of drives me to like a game. Yeah. So, for example, Shadow... What the fuck are you? Because when you hit a button, you expect to do something. You don't want to sit there and... Bruh, am I... Do it. Am, is this Guilty Crown? What is occurring? I'm sorry, I have no fucking idea what is going on here. CJ, why do you play video games? You know what? I'm gonna be real with you. I don't even know. Okay, it's not glowing. This thing called a panzer is still on my dick. Things are better. We're gravy. This is golden fine with this okay uh other things yeah team-based games or solo like whenever i say team-based like you and other people or just you what's your preference it don't really have a preference to be honest it's just whatever i'm feeling in the moment okay what do you tend to lean towards whenever things come out what interests you more mm, probably more solo i would say like i don't buy a game with the sole purpose of I'm gonna go online and play this. But yet again, that depends on the game. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see it. Hmm. Like, I would say... I really like the Dead Space series, but I'm not too hyped about playing the multiplayer in 3, just... But that's also because it's just never been that way, so it's like, why would I want to do it that way see so yeah, i want to play it in three just because the game is still different for both people yeah yeah and, and i like, know that but it's i like... think that that's kind of cool because it plays on the paranoia fact yeah. of dead space because like dead space was always all about paranoia right and yeah and in three i'm so confused where am i supposed to go fuck i missed a door um because, like, Dead Space was always about paranoia. And then in 3, you're seeing things that the other player isn't seeing. So, yeah. like, uh, whatever the fuck the red dude's name is, like, he would see, like, a child run across the room, but Isaac, Isaac wouldn't, wouldn't see wouldn't. shit. Yeah. I think that that's a cool way to play into, like, into playing co-op. Yeah. Because it makes both players, like, stay on their toes. Like, I don't know if this is real for you, but it is real for me. So, let's, uh... Let's go exploring, buddy. Like, yeah. I think that's cool, but I'm just... I don't know. There's... Some games I get with the intention of playing with others, and then other games I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna probably play this just completely solo. So, like, for example, Sundered, completely solo. Like, I'm not gonna, like, pass a stick or anything like that. Yeah. But... Uh, a game like Dead Cells, I could see passing the stick. Yeah, because you start fresh... Yeah, you start completely fresh. Where in Sundered, you have a skill tree. Yeah. And you make the skill tree set to your skills. Yeah. Uh, or not, I wouldn't say your skills, but like... What you want. Yeah, your preferences. So like right now, I could dodge. Or... You could sit there and block. I'm gonna just keep getting money. Yeah. You kill something, you get money. It's exactly like Dead Cells. Without the permit death. Without the primer death, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dead Cells, there's there's a couple of things. Well, that's why it's a rope bike. Um, I was gonna be like, well, there's a couple of things. Like you can start off with a dagger. You can start off yeah. with a better shield. How do you feel about roguelites? Like, do you like roguelites in general? Like yeah. Rogue Legacy? Yeah. Okay. 
do you like games like Final Fantasy? Like, turn-based um, RPGs. Yeah, I like turn-based RPGs. But I can't say specifically Final Fantasy, because I just haven't played too many of them. You've only played 15, right? 15, 13, 1, and Lightning Returns. But those, Lightning Returns isn't really... Lightning what? Returns is a... Yeah, I mean, I liked it. No, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, like, as far as the turn base goes. Oh, yeah. I, I just meant, like, Final Fantasy in general. Yeah, I mean, I played 10 2. No, 10 and 10 2. Never beat either. Fun fact, same. Like, I played 10 up until the Seymour fight. The first I see, Seymour I, fight? I don't even think I got there. And then I stopped, but I played 10-2 up until I unlocked, uh, like, Rogue for all three and then stopped. The only Final Fantasy I've ever actually completed was 11 and 7. Or, not 11, um, 15, 15 and 7. And yeah. 4. That's because 4 was my first one, and the main character was named... And it was kind of cool to have the same name as the main character, so I was like, fuck you. Yeah. But, I don't know. This has been a weird Saturday detention. We just talked about random shit, and I just died a lot, and I still don't know what the fuck is going on in this game. Anyways, yeah, guys, we're, this is, this is wrapped up. Uh, channel update should be out by now. Should be. I think. Listen. You guys know who to yell at. You already yelled at him anyway, so like, just, just if you if you want something to occur, you need to yell at him so that way we can try to plan stuff around my work schedule and things like that. Anyways, okay, bye.